Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Our new lesson for today is talking about add with partial sums. In this lesson, students will think about place value to help find the sum of an equation. Hello, my name is Partial Sums. I'm new way to find the sum of an addition equation. Now let's understand the meaning of partial sums. Listen to me. In this lesson, we will use place value to add. How can we use it? Look at the picture and you will find 268 plus 483. The first step is to add the hundreds. Look at the hundreds place. In the first number, the hundredth place is 2, or we can say the value is 200 plus 400. So, add the hundredths first. 200 plus 400 equals 600. Now, add the tens. Check the tens in the two numbers. In the first one, the tens is 60. In the second number, the tens is 80. So we can say 60 plus 80 equals 140. Add the ends, add the ones. Look at the ones place. For the first number, what is the ones place? Amazing, it's 8. Also in the second number, the 1 is 3. So we can add 8 plus 3 to find 11. Now add all the sums. All the partial sums. 600 plus 140 plus 11. And you will find the sum is 751. Here is another example. Look at the picture. 351 plus 332. First add the hundreds. Look at the first addend. We have 300 and the second addend 300. So 300 plus 300 equals 600. Now the tens. Look at the first addend. We have 50 and the second addend we have 30. So 50 plus 30 equals 80. Now the ones place. The first addend has 1 and the second addend has 2. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. Now add all the partial sums. 1s and 10s and 100s. 600 plus 80 plus 3 equals 683. 367 plus 287. We need to add using partial sums. Look at the addends. Add the hundreds first. The first addend has 300 and the second addend 200. 300 plus 200 equals 500. After that, add the tens. The first addend has 60 and the second addend 80. 60 plus 80 equals 140. After that, add the ones. 7 plus 7 equals 14. Now add all the sums, 500 plus 140 plus 14, and you will find 654. 
Now open page 938 and follow me. Look at the first question. Find the sum of 243 plus 179. Each digit in the number can be modeled with place value blocks. Listen to me. You can use place value blocks to add the numbers. How come? We can draw the numbers. Look at the first addend. 243. Draw two hundreds, four tens, and three ones. After that, the second addend. 179. 100, seven tens, and nine ones. After that, count on and add to find the total. Look at step one. We can break 243 and 179 into smaller problems. Think about the place value of each number. Find the hundreds. Where is the hundreds in the addends? 200 and 100. 200 plus 100 equals 300. After that, find the tens. 40 plus 70 equals 110. Find the ones. 3 plus 9 equals 12. Now add the partial sums. 300 plus 110 plus 12 equals 422. So, 243 plus 179 equals 422. Now look at the question down. Lexi says, to solve 243 plus 179, I can just count on with place value blocks to find the answer. How can I count on, say, 100, 200, 300? Also, another 100 from the 11 tens. Now we will have 400. Now, one more 10 and 12 ones is 422. Is Lexi's way like step 1 and step 2 above? Ask yourself first, what did she do? Lexi finds the sum by counting on beginning with hundreds, then tens, then once. So, this is like step one. After that, breaking the problem into smaller problems by place value. Look at the smaller problems up. And adding, this is like step two. Also, the final sum is found when she finished counting on with the blocks. After counting on, she will find the sum. Listen to me again. Lexi said that she will add hundreds alone, tens alone, and ones alone. And this is like step one. Also, breaking the numbers and adding the partial sums is like step two. Now open page 939 and follow me. Are you ready? My heroes. Look at question number one. Suppose you are adding 824 plus 106. What would the tenth problem be? And why? Listen to me. He's asking about the tenth place. So put your eyes in the tenth place. In the first addend, it's 124. How many tens do you have? Excellent. It's 2 tens or 20. So we have to say 20 plus. Check the second addend. How many tens is the second addend? Amazing. It's 0. So 20 plus 0. Why? Because there are 2 tens in 824 and 0 tens in 106. Now look at question number 2. Write the smaller problems you could use to find 512 plus 362. And what is the sum? Listen to me. He's asking about the smaller problems. We can find the smaller problems 
from breaking the numbers or the addends. Break the addends, hundreds, tens, and ones, then add hundreds, add tens, and add ones. After that, you will find the smaller problems. Now, look at the first addend. How many hundreds do you have? Excellent, we have got 500. And in the second addend, we have got 300. So, 500 plus 300 equals. Amazing, 800. Now, go for the tens. How many tens in the first addend? Only 10. After that, in the second addend, we have got 60. So, 10 plus 60 equals 70. Now, look at the ones. It's 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now add 800 plus 70 plus 4 and you will find 874. Now look at question number 3. Use place value to find the sum. Look at the place value blocks. You can count on the hundreds to find the total number of hundreds and count on the tens to find the total number of tens. After that count on the ones to find the total number of ones. We have got 300 plus 400 equals amazing 700. Now the tens 50 plus 30 excellent equals 80. 4 plus 1 equals 5. So 700 plus 80 plus 5 equals. 785 Now look at question number 4 Find each sum 348 plus 131 You can use the place value blocks and count on the hundreds and tens and ones then write Look at the hundreds we have 300 plus 100. Write the answer. Excellent. It's 400. Then the tens. 40 plus 30. Amazing. It's 70. Then the ones. 8 plus 1 equals. Excellent. 9. Now find the total. 400 plus 70 plus 9 equals Amazing! 479 Now look at question number 5 443 plus 430 Add hundreds 400 plus 400 equals Excellent! 800 Then the tens 40 plus 30 equals Excellent. 70. Now add the ones. 3 plus 0 equals. Excellent. 3. Now find the total. 800 plus 70 plus 3 equals. 873. The same way for all the questions starting from 6 until 11. Now open page 940 and follow me. Are you ready? My heroes, look at question number 12. Henry believes the sum of 345 plus 124 is 479. Is Henry correct? Explain. Listen to me. If we will add using partial sums, and make a small problems using hundreds, tens, and ones. I'll check the hundreds. 300 plus 100 equals 400. It's true, but look at the tens. 40 plus 20. Is it 70? 
no, it's not true. Even if we will not use regrouping because 5 plus 4 equals 9 only. So, it's not true. We have to write, no, the sum will be 469. He didn't add the tens correctly. Now look at question number 13. Explain how the solids shown in group A and group B could have been sorted. Look at the shapes in group A. We have got cylinder and cone. What is the shape for the basis for the solids? Excellent, they are circles. So, the solids in group A have circles for bases, but for group B, solids each have squares. Look at the bases for the solids, and you will find squares. Finally, thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope to see you soon. Here is the answer key for page 938. Here is the answer key for page 939. Here is the answer key for page 940.